Not only this, but we ourselves also, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly as we eagerly await our adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The Epistle to the Romans, chapter 8, verse 23. This groaning is universal amongst the saints, and to a greater or lesser extent we all feel it. It is not the groan of murmuring or complaint. It is rather the note of desire rather than of distress. Having received an earnest, we desire the whole of our portion. We are sighing that our entire manhood, in its trinity of spirit, soul and body, may be set free from this last vestige of the fall. We long to throw off our corruption, weakness and dishonour, wrapping ourselves in incorruption, in immortality, in glory, in the spiritual body which the Lord Jesus will bestow upon his people. We long for the manifestation of our adoption as the children of God. We groan, but it is within ourselves. It is not a hypocrite's groan by which he would make men believe that he is a saint because he is wretched. Our sighs are sacred things, too hallowed for us to tell others. We keep our longings for our Lord alone. Then the Apostle goes on. We are waiting, by which we learn that we are not to be petulant like Jonah or Elijah when they said, Let me die nor are we to whimper and sigh for the end of life because we are tired of work or wish to escape our present suffering until the will of the Lord is done. We are to groan for glorification, but we are to wait patiently for it, knowing that what the Lord appoints is best. Waiting implies being ready. We are to stand at the door expecting our beloved to open it and take it away to himself. We're to be there with our coat and shoes. This groaning is a test. You may judge of a man by what he groans after. Some men groan after wealth. They worship mammon. Some groan continually under the troubles of their lives, and they are merely impatient. But the man who sighs after God, who is uneasy until he is made in Christ's image, he is the one who is blessed. May God help us to groan for the coming of the Lord and the resurrection which he will bring to us. Amen.